Right, I was going to take the cam cover off and have a look to see it. I have cam lob galling, but uh, I'm just going to finish off this camera here. I have a camera. I have a camera right there. I'm just going to finish that off now. The camera runs underneath the bumper through a hole here. These cables here are for if I want, if I want to have the lines on the camera when I look in, when I'm looking into the screen. And then this one here is for HD, which is 1080p or 720. This head unit only has 720. So I have to cut, so I have to cut this one so that it will only play 720. If I connect those two together, it will be, it will display on a 1080p screen. So here is where all of the magic happens. Now this is the camera here connected to the main, um, AV cables that go up to the front, the RCA cables. You connect your power, this red one here, all the way into this green and black one here is my reverse light, which is there. That's my reverse light, and this here, the black one, is connected. That is my um, earth. So that's my ground. And they come back down to here let's say and then this RCA cable will have this yellow lead on it on both sides on this and on up there this here it's not needed so because you have this power going in here I have this connected here and it actually is not needed so when I take this off you'll see that this screen will still work in some cases you do need to connect the RCA cable power to power the same on here but on this one on this system you don't Okay, I'm now in the Jeep, turn the keys on, just power on. There's the screen, reverse, oh yeah, I put a new gear stick in, big gear knob, by the way. Um, so reverse is over here, and this should display, see? And there's my extension lead right there in the back, see right there, right there. So I'd cut the green wire if I don't want those lines, but I do want those lines because it sort of tells you how far you are away from things. Okay, so now all I need to do is just, I'm gonna solder here, I'm gonna take this off and just clean these up a bit. Um, but in here as well, I found an alarm box. And this alarm has never worked. So I found this and this. Hmm, maybe it works. But there's an X on this. So listen to this. Oh, yeah, that's too loud. It's too loud to continue on with that. But maybe it's just a resistor or something. But uh, yeah, I don't know. So we leave that. We won't put that in. We will figure out where that goes and we will try and find out why that is not working. I have a couple of suspicions why it's not working. Um, it could be to do with a sensor, the door lock sensors, uh, could be the bonnet sensor. There's a lot of different things it could be, but I have my suspicions that it might be this door over here because there's a dent on the handle. Um, I have it all tidied in. It's all, uh, it, 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 it's soldered and I just took the wires all in here and ran the cables down in, in the back of this in through here and around here and as you can see if I do want to go to 1080p I just connect those two wires together and that'll be it and then I just ran it all the way obviously down that way so if you remember in a previous video I installed this stereo now I don't like it as I said in the previous video I don't like it it's old it just feels really cheap and uh, it was grand when it when it was new because everything was really cheap feeling back then anyway but nowadays there's much better stereos and when i do eventually start driving this correctly then i will probably get a newer stereo but for now this is fine anyway if you remember when i wired it up i left all of these ones out and i left these out as well because i wasn't worrying an amp this is for an amplifier and subwoofer and all and this is for your backup cameras so i didn't have a backup camera at the moment at that time now i do so backup camera goes in here subwoofers and amps out go in here and i'm gonna put all this back in here now and that's about it right so there we are it's all back together oh yeah and if you're wondering what this is this is just a solar power connected directly to the battery the battery's out there and it's just connected straight to the battery so that because i don't use this car that much that will um continue to charge the battery up i'm going to connect this alarm up and figure out why it's not working i'm gonna go over there somewhere and do stuff and then i'm gonna connect this up and see will it work i don't know why it's not working but we'll figure it out hopefully we'll figure it out i don't know if i'll have time today but i'll try to do it now anyway
and I followed it back to where it goes. So this alarm is connected. It's connected in here to that port right up there. And here it is here. And when I plug this in, it will make an alarm sound. If I can actually find the plug. See? And and now that that alarm is unplugged, when I press my lock button, nothing happens. It's not locking anything, which means it's connected to the central locking. And if it is, it will lock, but not the back ones, only the front door. So that is connected to the central locking. As you remember, I told you about this on the passenger door here. When I opened the passenger door and I checked this out here, this was not working. Now it is, I have it working now, but basically this was pushed into the back here. So I took this all out, connected it all back up, and I thought that that might be my problem, but it's still, that's connected, everything else is connected. I don't know why this is not working. All right, so it's still going off. I'm just going to disconnect the battery. All right, leave that for a minute. Leave it for about 60 seconds or so. Reconnect it and hopefully that has reset the the alarm. I don't know. We'll find out I've left it for about five minutes or so. I was just doing some other stuff. So let's see. Does it work? No, it didn't. No, it's still going off oh, I think I'll just disconnect it again I just disconnected it back from from the back of the car there and um, so I just left this all plugged in uh, So the central lock can work I'm just going to put all this back together now. Anyway, so on to the next thing now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you see the way the lights when they come on here, and um, they're only coming on up here and here. I got a load more of those bulbs. I'm just going to put them in. I never done it. I got them a long time ago. So I'm just going to do that now anyway. And if you don't know how to do this, this part of it, I do have a, a video explaining how to do all this. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. But you basically just twist these, take them out, and pull this bulb out straight like, 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 it won't come out. Okay, so you pull the bulb out like that. Then you get your new LED. Then you get your new LED and you just put it into there. This is very hard to do with one hand. And that's it. Once it's in, plug it back into where it goes here. And do a bit of a twisty. Twisty, twist, twist. Tighten it up like this. And then when you put all this back in, in there it will all be orange or brighter anyway now i don't know if you can actually see this here at all but i have got the lights on um i'm trying I'm trying to put it here somewhere so that you can actually see them on and off so there they are off there they are on and you can still see that the 80 here is more bright than the 60 and the reason is because of where the leds are placed i have all i have replaced all of them with leds but only a couple of areas like there and there and over here is showing any light because like if you look here there's no real light there but at night time this does all light up a very bright orange um i chose orange leds you can choose pink blue green yellow whatever but the reason that it's not in this area here is because there's actually no bulb at the back of that so if you look at the back of where that would be there is no bulb there there's a bulb here, there's no bulb here. So that's why it's it's dimmer in that point. So now I have replaced the LEDs. There's the, the bulbs I took out. I took about four, I think, out. I took about four bulbs out and I'm just gonna put all this back together now. And there we go. Now I know you can't tell the difference, but uh, they are working. And in these areas here, these areas, there's, there's only a light bulb here and here. The light bulb that's here is actually in this corner for these lights here. So, same over here, it's for these ones to, to light up more than this area, you know? But anyway, at night time, this will all light up orange and it's much better looking. Like this. See how bright that is? So bright, it's cool. So I did want to take the cam cover off and have a look to see does it have cam lobe galling. But um, afterwards, the rain started to come and uh, I just said I'll leave it until some other day or something like that. So... Uh, I decided I'm just going to make this video into a couple of different videos. So that's the first video. Thank you very much for watching. Please come back and watch the next video.
Bye-bye.